there is there is no non-participants in this drill okay everybody has got to vote what we're going to do is we're going to look at the penalty area incidents some of the teaching points can't do it here I hate to look at the screen proximity to play how close are you where are we at on the field obviously if it's simulation you got to have a good down on it gets gets down a little bit how do we get that the angle and the view now Barry's going to do a presentation tomorrow on positioning and movement and I wish we could have done it today a little bit because this is so critical as the play is moving into that penalty area you got to keep a great view on the play guys we're gonna spend 99.8 of our time running around on the field to be in the right place have the right view on that play and not make a call right but we're working hard to get that angle to get that view some of it is I think we don't want to be too square to play we're gonna see some of these incidents in the penalty area and a lot of it's all gonna be predicated do you have a good view now here we got like I don't know 13 cameras out there helping out so we're gonna look at this proximity are we sure if it's obvious simulation we got to be absolutely sure that nobody contacted him or did the attacker initiate the contact themselves if we're gonna deal with them exaggerated contact initiating I just mentioned that so it's you know we we're gonna talk a little bit about each one and then go on we got several tapes I have a little shorter time frame but that's all right we'll get through what we got okay so here's the drill we're gonna look at the video we're only gonna look at it once but you're gonna see the foul probably a couple of times or the no foul or the red card or the yellow card so I don't know but and then we're gonna when I look at it we're gonna stop then everybody's gonna make a decision you're gonna close your eyes and everybody's gonna you're gonna raise your hand if you got a foul if you got a foul and a caution you raise your hand with the card if you got a foul and a send-off you raise your red card we're going to do it with our eyes closed so you're not you don't have peer pressure so nobody oh they're going up I'm going up okay then we're gonna then we'll talk about it see and try to get a consensus and make sure we're all on the right page we all want to be on the right page that's where referees get in more trouble is when we go one guy calls it one way one game then they go to another game and they go well that was the exact same play and that guy didn't deal with it so we're gonna we're gonna try to get on the same page here all right video number one State by uh, France there to give it to Fox and now what what goes whatever it was to one and a half a dozen of the other although there is a slight tug of the shirt there from Sissoko okay that's it all right everybody close your eyes all right what do we got now you got to make a decision everybody close your eyes close your eyes all right give me the hands up whatever you got foul yellow card red card bring it all no everybody vote all right no foul okay all right okay open your eyes all right don't, hold up keep your arms up all right now look around so we got we've gone from no fouls no foul right yeah, no foul. okay fouls with no card penalty kick and we got we got a couple of cautions no send-offs huh okay remember that I gotta remember these guys okay so now let's talk about it so why do you got no foul what do you got yes there was a pull on the shirt I, got, I guess it will depend on how what, what the situation was in the game if it is like in the very very beginning, I do not believe it will be that much of it, um, since you know yes there is a pool, but it's not enough, and you can see the player you know falling down. 
Okay, you thought it was too easy. Go down, simple hold. What you got? All right, what did, what did you have? You had a foul, just a straight foul. So if it's a foul, where? It, it was in the area, so we're going to go penalty kick. So we got a penalty kick there. All right, you're saying nothing. It was holding. You'll admit there was some holding. Okay. So and you got a foul. So what do you want to say? Go ahead. So you said it depends on it is. Here, I'll, I'll, okay, hold on. I'll kind of walk around. I'll help out. Yeah, yeah, stand up. Answer everybody. All right, we're all listening. My name is Matthew. Um, so he said it depends where it is and when it is in the game. Um, my opinion is if you're going to call it in the second minute, you need to call it in the 90th minute. So I, was a, I would absolutely call the penalty and call the foul. Okay, very good, very good. Anybody else? I had, some, uh, I had a yellow card over here. Uh, stand up. Yeah, I'm talking now. I'm Andy, again, from South Florida. Uh, to me, it was, a, it was a holding of the shirt. I think there was a promising attack there, a, ch a chance to get at least a shot, not a doxel. And because it was a hold, I'm going to go with a caution. Okay. That's what they got. All right. What, all right. What you got, Fritz? My name's Fritz. Um, I have the foul as well for holding. However, I did not see enough. I didn't see enough attacking players in the penalty area. I don't think she had a promising attack. And there was another defender to the right of the player that committed the foul. So that's why I had no card. Just okay. a simple foul. All right. Great, great. All right, we're, we're moving around. We're getting, some in, we're getting some input about what different people are thinking. Just to add to that, um, like, like come, come on up here, come up here. I want, I, want to get you on, uh, I want to get you on YouTube and all that stuff really good. Uh, like he was saying, I don't think the ball, the direction of the ball was going out. I don't think it was a promising attack in that sense. And uh, also, I don't think there was any way this, the attacker would have catched the ball if he was a, if she was in a pool. Did, so you, you had the foul? I, I didn't have the foul, now I'm changing my mind. I have the foul, but I don't have a yellow card. Yes, because, it, and the reason being a foul is a foul, uh, regardless of the time or uh, the instance of the game, in my opinion. Okay, so we got one convert, we got one conversion here. <laughs> so, <laughs> what you got out there one time? Uh, definitely I have a foul. The reason I didn't give you yellow because the player was going towards, not towards the net, but goes towards the uh, goal line. Okay. I mean. Okay, we got a foul. All right. So, one last, unless it's really good information, give me some really good information here. You're, the pressure's on. So, I had no foul in this instance, and the reason for that is... I consider it to be more trifling than anything else, given the force. For me, the key consideration is the force. There isn't much force in the pole at all, nor does the offensive player, in my judgment, continue to make a sincere effort to play the ball. Okay. Uh, and it, had the offensive player continued to play the ball and the attacker would have continued to pull and you could have seen that additional force, then I would have given a penalty there. But I felt that the key consideration that was missing to award a foul for the pull, for the hold was force. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. So this room is do this side of the room is dominated. Was everybody asleep over here? We got to jump up over here. So you did once, yeah, right? No, you're done. You're good. You're good. <laughs> so do I have any no fouls over here? No foul. Tell me why no foul. Okay, now, so he, to he told you why he didn't have yeah, it. Yeah, so. so it's very similar. I'd say for this level of game, I felt like appropriate contact inside the box. Uh, they, she wasn't, you know, yanked to the ground. It was a grab. It wasn't, I felt like it was appropriate contact inside the box. I felt like it would have been a soft PK. Okay. So, so in the penalty area, yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't have a box. You guys, you guys laugh. It just drives me nuts watching TV and these announcers. The box, the box, the box. I'm, I'm you know, it just, um, so it is a penalty area, a goal area. Learn how to talk about it. So, I always refer, I had a gentleman talk, come over to me today, and he said I made him pull out the book. Okay, so where in the laws of the game does it talk about the force of the hold. 
Where's the force of the hold? Under law 12. No. Huh? Force, right? So find the force of no, he, he's the one that said the force. Find the force of said yeah, said well, he, he didn't have a foul either. So find the laws of the game where it says not enough. Well, no, it's not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Stand up, stand up. Okay. Well, I believe it's a lot. Guys, guys you know. one time, one at a time. Hold on. Okay. You know, I believe that there is a lot of interpretation on everything, just like everybody has a different style of ref, and then there is a lot of style on. On you know, on see on that right. So, okay. So, so part of this part of this teaching session is we can have our different ref refereeing styles. How do we communicate with players? Kind of how we where, where our bar is in the game, but we should always enforce the laws of the game. Okay, enforce the laws of the game. So that's kind of what we're getting here. If you go to law twelve, it tells us that holding is any amount of holding. Now, how many have run down the field at full speed, full speed, these people are going 110 miles an hour and somebody just nicks them a little bit. Clips their heel just a little bit. Speed is so important to this game and then those people end up where? Eating the dirt, right? They go nose down in the dirt because they're going so fast. She's moving pretty quick. It doesn't take a whole lot. So let's, let's, let's find out what we're supposed to have done right. So we're all on the same page, all right? Okay, no card. Penalty kick. Okay, now, so, I, and so what I wanna point out, so what, what do we think, and, I, and I'm showing this because this is gonna go to a little bit what he's gonna cover tomorrow. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here. I want y'all to, I'm gonna try to stop it. State by uh, France there to give it to Fox. And now what? What else, whatever it was. Okay. Where did the referee go? Six to one and a half a dozen of the other, although there is a slight tug of the shirt there from Sissoko. The referee closed their angle off between the players. The referee went almost square to them instead of staying and keeping the gap and the view between the players. I like the effort of getting into the penalty area, but when she did that, she closed her view. She, she didn't even see it, in my opinion, because I can't tell exactly what done, but it didn't look like she was going to the spot. Okay, but so why? That's what we got to know. We got to know why didn't we get that call. That's what we as coaches, we look to you. Why didn't they see that call? And then we try to correct that. Okay? So, we got a foul. No card. No promising attack. Okay, you're right. Y'all hit on some good points here. Okay? All right. 